Alrighty, alrighty. So today we're doing tips and tricks. If you guys want me to watch your replays and give you guys tips and tricks on your gameplay, leave your Street Fighter name or Street Fighter name code in the comments. And yeah, I'll give you guys tips and tricks on your gameplay. Okay, and then right there is a block. You see it coming and you jumped over it. Right, right here. You react and jump. Just block and punish him. Oh, okay. Yeah, you struggle punishing people into full combo. If you wait just a little bit, you get a full combo off of anti air. So you gotta anti air that. I know it was quick, but you have to anti air. No, oh, there it is. Okay. Anti airs. Big issue. Get the beam. Gonna carry. Okay, also Drave Rush and combos you're not doing. Nice, nice, nice. You have to condition them first. And then you can go for the jump bait. Rip that. Oh, they're almost burnt. EX Fireball, EX, yes! Oh, no, too early, too early, too early. Good bait. Oh, Jay. Get the beat. Nice. Nice. Okay, after that, it's your turn again. Huh? After this, if this hits, you are plus five. It's your turn. Do not back up after you get a hit here. G DI after someone jumps in is a horrible option. You pretty much never want to do this. Okay, be careful for them DIing. Because they're probably going to love that. So be ready to level three. Okay, no, just stay in the corner. Block. There it is. Yep. You have to trust your blocks. You just had to be patient until he DI's for level 3. Nice. Oh. No, oh, you had a game. You had a game. Okay, you still got it. Okay. DI combo. DI combo. have to DI him back man this guy's DI like crazy there we that's what I'm talking about man oh you got the combo though there we go nice okay well after watching some of your replays I got seven tips that can help you out there the first one is punishing people the wake up dp you did that as a punish to every you you want to make sure you get a good punish but you do something like this you could do something like this which gives you 26 right where you could spend three bars and get a little bit more right or you could get 31 you know what I'm saying? So it's 26 or 31 depending on if you have drive meter or not. That's what you want to go for. The second thing is you struggle. The I am back. I want you to go put the AI to drive impact on, on the block. And I want you to practice. First thing going to be blocking. You got to put it on the block as well. <laughs> I want you to practice Dragon Lash into the eye. Is so anything into the eye? I want you to practice all of this into the eye. For like at least five minutes. And that should be able to muscle memory hitting the button when you see. Them do it. Anti airing was a big issue because what would happen is that okay, there we 
go. Now we have him jumping too. We have him jumping randomly. You struggle doing the cross cut the piece. Which, the issue is that you're reacting too quick because you're doing this. You're doing this and you're whiffing. So just wait a little bit. Wait a teeny teeny little bit for them to actually come down. That was the third one. The fourth one. You would get your opponent in a corner, which is fantastic. But then you would just jump without conditioning them. Of doing anything here. But a lot of times you would just jump and get nothing. If the bait worked once out of the nine or so replays I saw, one that went for grab and you punished them. The other people it didn't work on. So first condition them in the floor first. And then if they do jump, bum, 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 get them to the corner. They jump, you, you catch them. Like, you catch them trying to get out of there. So they can't jump. If they try grabbing, you catch them grabbing. So it beats both options, and then once you condition, you can start going for base jump. The fifth thing <laughs> is dry fresh combos. A lot of times you would do this into this, which is really good. But look at all the bar you have left. You could get more damage, right? Look at that. You get 25 damage here compared to 29 damage here. And it's really good because. Let's just say you're. This is the kill combo. This is the kill hit right here, right? You would do this. You just do this. Which again is good, but if it's the kill hit, you want to kill it. By the way, this is CA, so it's gonna do more damage. It's 44, right? Compared to. Forty-four. Compared, to this is gonna be like a 54. So you have to do the drive rush combos. After your medium, after auto medium, right? So you do this, medium, you just dash forward back to the auto. Never let go of auto. You're always holding auto. You're always, always holding auto. Right, you're always holding it. You're never letting it go. Next thing is DI combos. You would do... I don't know, you, you did a combo that was like, like that or something. It wasn't that much HP. What you want to do is heavy, into heavy Jinrai, into DP. Look at this. Into a DP. 29 damage. I got DI, I don't heavy, and then you gotta put the inputs for Jinrai heavy. And you just literally gonna mash forward. Forward and heavy. Into a DP. 